and welcome back to the week five edition of the John Carroll Football Preview Show. And joining us now is a tight end for the Blue Streaks who has a touchdown reception in each of the four games the team has played this season. It is my pleasure to introduce Blue Streaks tight end Tadis Tadarunas. Tadis, thanks for joining us this week. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So we're going to kind of dive into how your college career got started. Now, you transferred here in the spring of 2021 to John Carroll as a quarterback. You did play as a quarterback at Division II Walsh University. When was it that made you decide to come to JCU? Um, yeah, I mean, Walsh was a great school for me. Um, got a lot of money off, so that was like the main reason why I went there um, and played there for two seasons. And just really, I wasn't having the most fun there and kind of, I just wasn't feeling like myself. And COVID happened and my dad came up to me and while I was at home and he was just like, so um, do you want to stay at Walsh? Like, are you having fun there? Are you happy? And I was like, honestly, like, I don't like football as much as I used to. And he's like, well, then why don't you just go to John Carroll? Like, come back home and um, see what happens. And so I called Coach Fanati up and asked if he still had a roster spot for me, and he did. So I came here in that next fall, and uh, I've been loving it ever since, you know, playing quarterback when I first came in and then transitioning into the tight end. Yeah, and then speaking on that note, so in high school you also played quarterback really all the way through for your entire football career. You did play at Mentor, a local high school here in Northeast Ohio. There's been plenty of quarterback talent there. Former Blue Streaks quarterback Jake Floria, also current NFL quarterback Mitch Trubisky. After playing quarterback through high school and into college, even with all the success you had at Mentor leading the Cardinals to a state championship appearance, why did you decide to move to tight end? Yeah, you know, it was a hard decision at first. Um, You know, I came in wanting to play quarterback and we had a solid quarterback room and Jake Floria was the guy um, and I didn't really want to sit another season so Coach Baker kind of nudged me I was like hey like why don't you try tight end and I wasn't going for it at first but then finally at the end of summer camp I decided I was like hey like I want to be on the field so went in as tight end and just been learning everything since that transition you know it was easy for me because uh, being a quarterback you know all the plays you know what everyone else is doing so the biggest thing for me was just learning the fundamentals and the techniques of blocking and running routes. Um, But, you know, it's been a great transition and I love playing the tight end position because it's like you're a hybrid and you're doing everything on the field. So it's been really fun. And there certainly is that maturity in you've been playing a position for so long. Now you're doing whatever it takes to help your team win. And now you switch to the tight end spot, really forming that connection early on for this season. And just real quickly touching back on those couple of men or quarterbacks who have played in recent years. What is your relationship like with Jake Still, who just finished his collegiate career last year, and also, you know, with Mitch Trubisky as well? Yeah, you know, I mean, the cool thing about playing at Mentor is that there's a tight group that always stays when you go there. Um, so I know Mitch Trubisky pretty well because I'm good buddies with his younger brothers, Manning and Mason. Um, with Jake Floria, he's been one of my good buddies for the longest time, you know, playing basketball or football with him since going back to the NYFA Youth League games. So um, it's been really nice and it's a cool thing to be a part of coming from Mentor because it's just, you know what it takes to be a Mentor quarterback and just being in that successful culture on that team, you know, leading Mentor. Well, it's certainly great to hear that brotherhood not only starting at Mentor, also going into John Carroll. So now venturing over back to you, going into this tight end position, after recording just one receiving touchdown and a two-point conversion reception last season, you now have four receiving touchdowns this season. You have one in each game that has been played so far. What has been working well for you so far in 2022 in your first full season as a tight end? Yeah, you know, it's just way better to just be more comfortable at the position. You know, last year I was still learning um, just all the techniques with blocking and running routes and just having that first season and getting my feet wet and then having the spring season where I was actually like learning everything and just getting down to it. Um, You know, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable this year. Um, Over the summer, I gained 20 pounds. So that's definitely helped me in the run game. And, you know, just over the summer, we're just running routes with Joe Collins three days a week, you know, just working on my routes, working on my footwork and all that. So it's just, I, I feel like this season, like I feel a lot more comfortable in the system and I definitely have a more confidence. So I think that showed for the success. Well, sounds like as you're getting more reps and practice in, you're starting to get better at that new position. Tight end Tadis Tadarunas is our guest on the week five edition of the John Carroll Football Preview Show. And 
Speaking of, again, that tight end group that you have here right now in 2022, Coach Austin, he's in his first season as the tight ends coach here at JCU. You do have a lot of veteran experience in that room. Tyler Hughes, graduate student, Nate Trudeau, a senior on the team as well. How has the tight end room gotten along so far in the 2022 season? You know, I I like to say the tight end group is the best group on the team. Um, I'm not biased towards it, but we're just such a close group. You know, we have a lot of different personalities and we mesh really well. Starting off with me, Husey, Trudeau, and uh, Lang. You know, we have a solid group. Like, we're the most experienced group on the team. And I mean, I would put our tight ends up against any other tight ends in the nation. And Coach Mack would say the same thing. So, And then kind of you being in that room as well, you also have that perspective as a former quarterback. So how has that helped you transition continually into this tight end position. Yeah, you know, it's just, I know from being a quarterback, just where people are supposed to be aligned and um, what depths they're supposed to be getting. And if the defense is in one coverage, like where we should be, what's the best place to be. So, you know, just knowing that stuff in the back of my mind when I'm on the field, it just helps everybody. And i um, watching film. I'm able to see more stuff that normal tight ends who haven't had the quarterback experience would have. So certainly gives you a different perspective and also helping right. mentor your fellow tight tight ends. So now talking about this week, you're taking on Marietta. They're coming off of a very close defeat to Baldwin Wallace. What will it take for Team 100 to earn its fourth consecutive win? You know, it's going to be a fourth quarter battle um, against Marietta. It always is. You know, ever since I've been here, it's always been just a close game. And last year, the offense didn't even get to score a touchdown. So uh, we have something to prove as an offense. We got saved by special teams in the defense. And this year is the same thing. You know, they're a gritty team and it's just going to be a four quarter battle. We just got to believe in each other and just know our reads and just mesh well and um, see what happens. Certainly seems like a good one is on tap for today. So we're going to venture a little bit off the football field now. We're talking plenty about your football experience and the current state you're in now playing football. So what do you enjoy doing when you're not on the football field? I mean, I'm I really don't have much time during the football season, so I'm usually just studying or doing homework. But um, in my free time, I like hanging out with my roommates, um, hanging out with guys on the team. You know, on Mondays we have off, so the tight end group usually tries to get around a nine or eighteen at golf. So it's been good team bonding that we've been having, and uh, it's been very fun. And I do know you were also a former basketball player at Menor High School mm-hmm. too. Do you guys ever maybe shoot hoops? Perhaps maybe not during the season. <laughs> yeah, definitely not during the season. But uh, in the off season, we'll play hoops. Um, whether whether it's outside at Shaker Park or whether it's IM Leagues. Well, that's nice. You guys are still keeping that team yeah. bonding going even when it's not during the season. And now talking about you a little bit more personally too, you're a fifth year senior here at John Carroll and you are an accounting major. So do you have any plans in mind at the moment as your collegiate time is coming close to an end? Yeah. Um, so I did an internship with Cohen and Company, which is an accounting firm downtown. Um, ended up really liking it and they offered me at the end of the internship and I accepted. So the goal right now is just to finish up my 150 credit hours, take the CPA exam over the summer and start sometime in October. Um, So I'm excited for that, but I definitely want to live the football career as long as I can because there's nothing like it. Yeah, certainly want to savor every moment that you have left. And congratulations on that position that you've recently accepted. Uh, We're going to now transition into our final segment of this interview for this week. Do want to thank you once again, Tadish, for taking the time to sit down with us. It is a bit of a rapid fire type of deal. Now, there's no timer or anything. It's just a couple quick favorite questions, just so okay. Blue Streak Nation gets to know their tight end a little bit better. Nice. Are you ready? Nice, yeah. All right, perfect. Firstly, what is your favorite food? Uh, any seafood, all seafood. I was hearing a lot of steak recently and last nice. season, so definitely one of the firsts, I will say. Yeah, you can't go wrong with steak. <laughs> so maybe a little surf and turf. Right, right. There we go. All right. How about your favorite show? Um, Favorite show right now is probably Better Call Saul. I've been watching it in all my free time. Favorite movie? Can't go wrong with Step Brothers. That's the third straight week I have heard Step Brothers. Nice. So that seems a to classic. be a team bonding nice. one for sure. How about your favorite music artist? Probably the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And not too much hesitation on that yeah. one, too. Is that also one maybe for pregame hype music? Or yeah. maybe is that a little Yeah, for different? sure. For sure. Get some uh, my emotions in the right space. How about your favorite all time? Because I know you've transitioned from quarterback to tight end. Mm-hmm. Who's your all time favorite tight end? Probably Travis Kelsey. You know, he's a Cleveland guy, and I just love the way he plays. Um, he's definitely the best in the game right now. Yeah, Travis Kelsey, another Cleveland area product, like you mentioned. He mm-hmm. attended Cleveland Heights High School. And finally, your favorite all-time football player. Favorite all-time football player has to be Tom Brady. You know, growing up playing quarterback, I've always looked up to him, and he's the GOAT for a reason. So I always wanted to make sure how I played was similar to his. So 
So that certainly keeps you as the quarterback at heart, yeah. but still playing tight end right, right now. Right. Absolutely. Well, Thomas, it's about all the time we have for this week. Thank you once again for taking the time and best of luck against Marietta. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me. It's been fun. Thank you for coming in. Absolutely. That was Blue Streak's tight end, Thomas Tadarunas, for our week five interview. And coming up, a bit of a preview of today's matchup between your John Carroll Blue Streaks and the Marietta Pioneers, right here on your home for the Blue Streaks, WJCU 88.7.